The Tay Oscar Hernandez experiment did not work last year. It was pretty disappointing. This year, we have a new projected right field comprised of two players, a returning veteran and a young gun. Hi, this is Jake from You Love to See It, and today we're going to keep going with my 2024 projection series where we look at 2023 stats for the players projected to be on the 26-man roster, look at their 2024 projections per zips, and we talk about it. And today we are focused on right field, which is going to be comprised of two different players, Mitch Hanniger and Dominic Canzo. So we're going to break them down separately and first, I want to start off with Mitch Haniger. Mitch Haniger is a Seattle Mariners legend, and I know a lot of people were really pumped to see him come back in the Robbie Ray deal, and I join in that excitement. Mitch is going to be comfortable playing for us, and I am excited to see what he does. However, 2023 was not very good for him. He had an injury-shortened season again last year. It started in spring training with an oblique strain, and then in June, he fractured his forearm due to a hit-by-pitch that saw him miss the rest of the season. And health is a big issue for Mitch Haniger. Seems like he gets these freak injuries all the time, so the name of the game this year really is just going to be health for him. His 2023 stats ended up shaking out at 229 plate appearances, a slash line of 209, 266, 631 for six home runs, a 73 WRC plus, and negative 0.2 F4. Not a great season for Mitch Haniger, and I'm sure he is ready to put his days in San Francisco behind him. But thankfully, he is coming into a club that he knows very well. He missed Seattle. He made it very clear in spring training so far that he missed being gone from our club. And I know he is probably going to do some great things for us. We've already seen it in spring training. He's mashed a few home runs. Well, let's get into what Zip says Mitch Haniger is going to do in 2024. It says he's going to have 415 plate appearances, a slash line of 231, 301, 718 for 17 home runs a 100 WRC plus and 0.9 F4. As far as the plate appearances go, this is a pretty accurate reflection to being a platoon partner with right field. But overall, even though his WRC plus says he's going to be a bit of a below average major league hitter, this is a better year than he had in 2023. And that's kind of what we need to hope for. The main thing I want to point out in this stat line is his power, 17 home runs. I would love to see that for Mitch Haniger in 2024. I know the average is a bit down. The OBP is kind of where you want, but that slug is helping. And I want to see Mitch crush some home runs into the bullpen. But I think this stat line is 100% attainable for Mitch Haniger, and I would be pretty fine with this outcome. But once again, it all is going to come down to health. If he can stay healthy, which being in a platoon is going to help that. But let's switch gears from someone who we do know to someone who... We don't know a whole lot about yet, and we are really looking forward to him play this year. I am, of course, talking about the Italian Stallion, the Dom Father, Dom Canzone. We received Dominic Canzone in the Paul Seawald trade last year, and he, this was his first year in the big leagues, so he's had very limited playing time. His 2023 stats shook out at only 182 plate appearances, a slash line of 220, 258, 657 for six home runs, a 79 WRC plus and negative 0.5 F4. Now that stat line on its own is not great and not something you would necessarily look forward to from a platoon partner, especially someone who's probably going to get more playing time than his counterpart. However, we do need to look at the context here. One being that Canzone came up last year, so he is new to the big league still, and he's still a rookie. Two is that he's hit at pretty much every level of the minor leagues, and dude has legit power. We saw it in Seattle against Baltimore, we saw it in Oakland, and in spring training, he's hit the ball pretty hard so far. His defense is a bit wary. At the end of the day, all I care about is if you make the plays. I don't care if it looks bad. As long as you get the out, that's all I care about. But as far as 2024, the Zips projections state that Dominic Canzone is going to have 459 plate appearances, a slash line of 245, 298, 723 for 17 home runs, a 100 WRC plus, and 0.9 F4. The first thing I want to point out is he is projected to have 17 home runs, which is also what Mitch Haniger is projected to have. And so if we can have a combined 34 home runs from our right field position, I'm going to be pretty happy with that. As far as his stat line goes, I would like that on base percentage to be a bit higher, hopefully over that 300 mark. And I think he's going to be able to do that by hopefully taking more walks because that was one of the things he was pretty not efficient at last year. And both the platoon partners are projected to have a combined 1.8 F4, which 
I'm hoping is a bit more. I would like it to be around two, if not a bit more, because that two F4 mark is the kind of the standard for an everyday position player. So hopefully they can bump that up a bit. Overall, I'm really excited to see how this right field platoon pairs up. I don't know if this is exactly how it's gonna work in the regular season because Canzone's been kind of the talk of spring training. He's been doing really well on the offensive side. So it's possible that maybe he could take the left field spot from Luke Rayleigh. We will see. And I do think this platoon is going to be interesting in a dynamic sense. Mitch Hanniger can be that mentor for Dominic Canzone. But I'd love to hear your comments on how do you think the platoon of Mitch Hanniger and Dominic Canzone will fare in 2024. You can leave a comment down below. As always, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it very much. But that's going to be it for me, and I will see you in the next one.